right, today I'm going to be doing a something. Today I'm going to show you how you put these uh, 70 millimeter uh, Maytech hub motors. I have another video that are about the 90 millimeter ones on any trucks, any skateboard or longboard trucks. And it uses this square thing in the middle to kind of lock itself. So the stator of the motor is basically attached to the, to the truck and this one is spinning around. Let's take this one, remove the wheel and see, do the math. There you go. So it's 58 millimeters. This is what's going to lock it in place. 6.8. So let's compare the Maytech uh, dual motor truck with this one. This is uh, 64. This is way too much. So the thread doesn't actually go in there. So the total width is going to be 58 millimeters and this is going to be 6.8 or 7. Well, wait until you see the tool that I'm using to make this. All the tolerances on this are a joke, pretty, pretty much. This is how little we have to adjust or uh, to cut it off completely. The remaining here, that, 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 that thing we're gonna make in a square. So for doing the actual cutting, I'm gonna um, lock it on, screw it on the table so it's sturdy and doesn't move. This here, <laughs> that's the tool we're gonna be cutting this with. Should be fine. Okay, the kids don't care. Beautiful. So we've cut here until the steel axle that's going through all of this. Uh, I should be just able to use the pliers and um, remove it. But it doesn't seem to be turning around. Or it's not loose at least. It's definitely attached to the axle there. This should give us enough of, um, there you go, that click, that click got it loose. So, so yeah, now it, now it works, you see, can, can I, yes, this is how simple it is to remove it. And there you go. Well, this was supposed to be 50 millimeters, it's 48. So if we make this square now, it should make it a pretty decent for what we need. Yes, focus tracking, track this thing, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna try and make these sides uh, square. I would say that this is the most important bit to not cut too much. 12 millimeters is a tiny bit of aluminum. I don't know why I didn't remove the other wheel. <laughs> That's like, uh, well, this is the first time I'm doing this using these tools. It would be more appropriate to use a file to actually do this last step uh, to, to produce that locking bit because you can be a lot more precise. You're going to be extra careful that, that the axle stays at the center of the square. If it doesn't, uh, the wheel's gonna, not going to fit. This looks pretty much exactly like this Maytek axle that is for the dual hub. Except this one is built out of like a regular skateboard trucks and it costs, uh, well, as, as, as cheap as you can get. So the moment of truth is trying and fit this on the axle here. So obviously, still way too big for the 12 millimeters. That's good. We can always remove things. With a few bits of extra filing, we can there. Beautiful. After successfully removing this part uh, and a few other bits and pieces, it took a solid 20 minute job to actually do it. So wires to the top. This goes through, locks in place pretty solid and then we have this much space for the actual nut. One or two of these washers there. Beautiful. Now on the other side, I got matching uh, wheels from Maytech and uh, boom, and there you have it. We built a complete electric hub motor truck set using just the regular truck from any skateboard shop in your local area. So this is the hub motor, 70 millimeter. So this is how it locks in place. All that torque and all that power is gonna th go through this uh, new uh, locking thing that you just made. Uh, well, I made. I'm not sure how well it works. I'll be doing some tests and I'll keep you posted.
Uh, let's try and get this running. So what we're going to be using for tests is this uh, favorite 120 amp uh, speed controller. And by the way, uh, these favorite uh, Maytech actually sells these under their own brand. And the battery pack is 6S. Let's just plug this in. This is beautiful. And this is uncensored, right? The sensor wires are connected in. Uh, I haven't changed the phase wires, so it might not work uh, right from the beginning. Okay. Yeah, that's 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 wrong. The sounds not right. Ooh, wrong. Okay, that's much better. Okay, that's the sensor one. So there we have it. Uh, the motor is on. The the hub motor is beautiful. All you need to get is this speed controller, the battery pack, and you have an electric skateboard. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting more uh, of this and also a follow-up to this uh, Maytech uh, hub motor video because I did a one... Why do I go rambling like that? I don't know. Well, anyways, see you next time.